Over to you, Susan. Me once again. Uh, thanks for watching my video once again. Hopefully, this will be the last video about this bang and all listen. Um, and uh, thank you very much for your interest as well. I really appreciate it. Now, I just want to share with you a, a very short story which happened today, this morning. Occasionally on my way to work, um, I tend to stop by at Starbucks and order, um, let's say most of the time, a, a cafe latte tall. And as I order it, as you know, in Starbucks, you give your name out and you wait for, you're, you're in a queue and you wait for your drink to come out. Now, the guy right behind me in the queue was wearing the, um, the Apple ear, AirPod. <laughs> and um, obviously you can see that he was checking out my um, my earbud and um, it was quite funny because I can see he was like standing right next to me in this way he was you can see I could see that he was checking me out now um, well obviously not <laughs> my appearance uh, because I'm not that attractive person but it's more about the the product what product I was wearing now this is the whole thing. I think it was a case where it, it's a case where Bang & Olufsen, the design-wise, completely schooled uh, Apple uh, AirPods. Uh, as soon as Apple released that AirPod, that dental floss with that stick sticking out, why is it sticking out? I know the purpose mainly is for the uh, enhancement for conversation, telephone conversation purpose and so on. And I'm sure there might be some other things, but this is the whole thing. Every single time when I walk along the central London and I see people wearing these dental floss Apple AirPods, it just gives me a cringe. It's just a terrible design. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Apple. I have, as you can see, an Apple Watch. It's a, even a gold bracelet as well to match the frame. And um, I also have the um, Apple Watch as well. Sorry, Apple iPhone. Sorry. And I think companies like Apple need to uh, handle the criticism. And um, I think just the whole point of when, personally for myself, um, who are into all these gadgets, when I see someone wearing these um, AirPods, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it looks like someone trying to show off saying, listen, I'm a total geek. And um, is, is it bad to be a geek? No, I just think that like, I'm not totally into fashion. Believe me, I mean, my wife uh, occasionally tells me that I need to buy some clothes and I, I'm not really into that much of brands and, and, and so on. But um, it, when it comes to technology, I, I am quite a demanding person, but um, it's just, the design is horrible. Uh, I'm sorry, but Apple, AirPods are horrible and way and I just don't see any credit. I don't really seem to, it's apologies, but I just don't really, really, really respect people who are into AirPods. They easily fall down. I've seen so many times people talking about this. The sound quality is not good and it's freaking 159 pounds as well in UK. So, um, the whole point I was going to raise is I really want to contribute to the society by saying, hey, listen, let's not be too much drawn into a certain brand because they made a certain product, even though it looks dead ugly. Um, have some choice, um, have some pride, um, you know, decorate yourself with one of the, like certainly things that you want to carry, that you should carry every single day. Um, have tried to have something that is the best that you can get. Um, and um, th that's why I made a decision to buy this Bang & Olufsen um, earbuds. And I'm quite proud of it. I feel really proud of myself. I feel really good about myself. The music is fantastic, believe me, um, and, and, and so on. Now, um, the other thing is so many people ask me this question, is the quality of the sound good when you call someone? Yes. I would like to reassure you again, um, as, as what I said from my previous video, yes, there are these um, holes um, on both sides, then you can make a very clear sound. So you don't need those stick, like an AirPod that sticks out. You could have a decent conversation, yes. 
And um, the other question, the most, most question that I've been asked so far is, can you run with it? Now, people, let's, let's consider this. This is a premium brand. This is a good, expensive product. It's 100 pounds more expensive than the AirPod, okay? And I still think that AirPod is too expensive for its design and its purpose and, and, and the sound and so on. But this is a premium brand. What I what one understands when it says a premium brand is, is not that you use for every single purpose, but you use it for a certain purpose. For example, I, I use my Jaybird when I do my workout because it fits well in. It's 100% sweat proof. But if you're trying to use a Bang & Olufsen um, while you commute every day and also when you exercise. I mean, for so someone like me, when I do running, I sweat a lot. Even it drip, my sweat drips down to my ear. Do you sh truly really want to wear something that your sweat is all over um, while you a product that has all, the, all your sweat all over and then wear it to commute every day as well? I think if you're a fan of Bluetooth or any certain earbuds, I think someone needs to have different purpose for different brands as well um, I mean like for example Mercedes-Benz you know you don't use Mercedes-Benz for like running in the countryside get all muddy it's it's a premium brand and, and, and so on so I just want to clarify my thoughts on it I mean yes I, um, I saw a Bang & Olufsen in Manchester uh, branch salesman actually showing an example of one of their staff wearing uh, this earbuds and, and, and running. Yes, it, it is possible, but I wouldn't recommend it because it's a premium brand. Um, and the last, quite an interesting cutting edge, should we say, or a very interesting question of one user asked me is that, can you easily switch from one connection to the other? And um, what I tried out is that, obviously this was installed on my uh, the, the BO Play app was already installed on my iPhone but also I have installed it on my um, iPad as well this is the iPad mini 1 um, is very old model um, but I just downloaded it and the app itself is pretty much designed for the purpose of Apple um, iPhone not the iPad so you can see the, the frame is doesn't fit quite well but um, what I have done as an experiment is that while I installed both of them, I um, basically placed the earbud back into the charging dock. Uh, and then I decided to pull it out again, the earbud, and then turn it on to see which one it actually connects to, either those two. And what I found out is that it connects to the latest uh, set it a setup model. So in other words, because I I just installed it on my, I connected to my um, iPad, it automatically gets connected to my iPad every single time when I turn it on. Okay, so the way you turn it on is basically uh, take it off, plug it into your ears, and then you just press it. And then it will be automatically connected to my iPad. Now, um, but I would like to switch it back, but switching it back is quite easy. All I, I guess all I need to do is just go to the settings and uninstall it on here on the Bluetooth settings or uninstall this app and so on. But it's quite interesting. I think it somehow recognizes the latest uh, installed device and you could just go on and on unless you change to end. And then sw swapping around to another device is quite easy. Um, simple steps and so on. So. Just, just hope uh, this nails the this these ongoing question about whether you can run it or not. It's up to you. If you think you could afford to buy another one, or if you afford, can afford to get a a more premium brand, and if you consider this to be a a purpose only for running, um, then go on. I mean, go for it. I don't think it would easily fall off. It's it's tightly secured to your ear, but. I would say, I mean, it's Bang & Olufsen premium brand. I would personally use it for commute or for once you're in a very settled, well-mannered uh, situation, if you see what I mean. So make your choice, but uh, that's what I want to say. But pretty much it felt really good today.
that the fact that my Brent Bang and Olufsen actually have schooled um, Apple AirPod, and that's what I wanted to highlight as my personal experience. And I, I can see that quite a few people are now uh, checking out my products, and it, it feels good. And I hope you experience the same thing as well. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is Love Jesus, please. Bye-bye.